What's up, Jesse Minch here with GetHandles.com. Got some basketball answers for you today. Uh, today's question is coming from Christian from uh, Milpitas, California. I hope I said your city name right. I have no idea. Um, if you're watching this video and I screwed it up bad, leave a hateful comment for me down below. Um, but uh, the question is, what's the best move to do against a person bigger than you? Well. That really depends. Um, like all my answers, I'm, I'm, I'm saying a lot of it depends because it really does depend um, on what you're referring to. Are you talking about trying to you know, shoot over someone? Are you trying to drive past someone? It's going to depend on all those different factors. Um, really, for driving past a bigger defender, what's going to help you is a fast, long, first step to get past them. Um, so driving, I mean, regardless of what move you're doing, that's really what's going to help you get past the bigger defender. When it comes to driving in the lane and trying to shoot over them, um, if you're more stationary and close to the defender, a little jump hook can be huge for getting over defender because you can use your body if the defender's here to protect the ball and, and, and you know, get the ball out wide into the side and shoot over the top of them or shoot like, you know, you know, more straight up over the top of them. Or, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you can use your quickness depending if your defender's, you know, kind of by your side and, and quick, get a real quick jump into the layup um, to get beat him to the spot, basically, um, and get there faster than him instead of trying to shoot over him. And if your defender's right in front of you, what I would recommend is the good old-fashioned floater. Um, basically, it's just you kind of slowing down real quick and coming, you know, to like a slow running jump and just floating it over the top of his hand. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch Tony Parker. He is a master of the of the floater. Um, so those are three, you know, really great ways to make sure your shot's getting over a bigger defender. Hopefully this helped you. Uh, if you guys got any more questions, head over to facebook.com slash gethandles. You can leave a question for me there. And of course, head over to gethandles.com. Got a free workout and ball handling guide for you there. Um, Working on those sorts of things is going to work wonders for you with getting past the bigger defender and finding ways to create space from them, um, which, you know, of course is important. If you want to get a shot over them, you want to be able to create space, right? So that's going to help you a lot. And then, of course, hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Subscribe down below. And stay tuned. I'll have more questions and answers coming to you and tutorials and other random basketball stuff that hopefully you guys will like. Thanks for watching.